that I usually sell to Tarzan. Every summer for 10 years, never, no one ever came, except Max, my milkman. And he came and he fed our musicians and our actors, because we had no business. Fed them with great cottage cheese and yogurt. And uh, the best in town, good man. So since Max was the only one of my festivals for 10 years at the El Monaco, when I called to tell him, my place was too small, I called to tell him, hey, I want to do another festival. And he said, sure, Elliot, come on over. I love you and your festivals. It'll cost $50 to clean up. Then I called Mike Lang and I said, I have a permit. And he had been thrown out of uh, Woodstock and then Wallkill and they were ready to pack it in. And they spent $2 million on that stage and equipment all that. So he flew over with a, holo um, a helicopter to my motel ground where I met a big white cross with some sheets. I'm Jewish, so my Jewish mother went ballistic on me. And uh, Mike came with the helicopter, then a dozen cars, and we looked at my ground, 15 acres of swamp. Couldn't do it, they were ready to leave. I called up Max. Max said, come on over. They came across the road there to that field, Mike Lang and Stan Goldstein and John and Joe came up there and they had a collective orgasm see that great piece of land here with the, national amp uh, the natural amphitheater. So I gave them my permit. He said, how much? I said, there's no charge. This whole county's dead. Come on in here, bring the music. He said, what about the hippies? I said, I didn't know what they was. I was straight then. Didn't know what they was. Bring them to. And the radio said not 5,000, not 10. They said they're going to bring 20 or 30,000 drugged out hippies and perverts to room Bethel. Watch your back, watch your back. Sorry. Bethel was room that was fixed when the wood stock was saying, yeah, we didn't know it was going to be anything but just three days peace and love. And I just got back from Rome last week with HBO the special. They asked me what was the between 99 and 69. And it was all grunge and hip hop and uh, hey motherfucker and all that kind of stuff. And it was no music. It was just a lot of violence and anger. Kids were walking around in the days. They didn't know where they were going. When I came here yesterday, and I hear the music started in here. And uh, it's 69. 69. Beautiful music, and you can hear the lyrics. And I haven't heard any of you motherfuckers yet. Anyway, it's my privilege to introduce Michael Sussman, who is the lawyer for Roy and Gerald in this freedom of speech issue about having the right to get up in the air and sing and talk. And he's working on it hard for all this time, so say hello to Michael. See you.